is that often using statistical or quantitative models, they're very difficult to interpret, even for people who are very highly educated in the same field, because they require a lot of detailed knowledge, and it can be difficult to understand hidden assumptions. While scenario planning being based on stories is much more accessible to a lot of different people, and being stories, you can often tell a story in a very long way with a lot of detail, or in kind of a short synopsis way. So it's a way of very easy, easily engaging a lot of people with thinking about complex problems. That being said, it has weaknesses as well, that unlike really rigorous mathematics or statistical analyses, uh, it can be difficult to assess the rigor of a story. But often, in dealing with the really unknown, we, we don't need rigor because it's really impossible to measure rigor. We need exploring of a broad area, and that's what scenarios can be really good at. Uh, one other kind of benefit of this is that by having different people involved, you can get more interesting, diverse stories that are kind of uh, tested and balanced against lots of different people's knowledge and opinion that can be far better than you could ever do in a model. Not that you, it's maybe impossible to do, but it's, it's not practical to do because you can't get all these people to understand and get the data in a form that can get into the model. The second thing is, is that by all these different people talking to themselves in a way that they can understand, you, they can actually learn and develop and understand stuff much better than they could otherwise, resulting in both better scenarios and maybe a better understanding and connections among the people involved in the scenario planning. And I think it's, it's a tool that was really developed, I guess, first, I think, kind of in a more technical form by the U.S. military in the Second World War, but then really went into business. And I think often business is a source of a lot of, of ideas that environmental planning or thinking about planning and development could really benefit from because the uncertainty that business faces all the time is often much, much bigger than we face with dealing with environmental problems. There's continually new markets, new products, new competitors that people have to deal with, and they don't deal with it usually in a mathematical modeling way. They use it in a way of trying to learn, adapt, uh, and look for opportunities. And scenario planning is one of these things that's been really used a lot, and arguably quite successfully in business, that we can take into uh, uh, environmental planning or environmental decision making that can be useful. It's probably other things as well.